Today, uh, we mark a historic moment, the first ever leaders summit between the United States, Japan, and the Philippines. And it's truly an honor to have you both here as we begin this new era of a partnership. As you've heard me say before, a great deal of history in our world will be written in the Indo-Pacific over the coming years. And the three, uh, um, as the three allies, three steadfast partners, and three proud democracies representing a half a billion people. And today, we commit to writing that story in the future together. To building the Indo-Pacific that is free, open, prosperous, and secure for all. This afternoon, we'll discuss a few key areas where our nations are deepening ties. First, technology and clean energy for securing our semiconductor supply chain, from securing our semiconductor supply chain to expanding trusted telecommunications in the Philippines, to building the clean energy workforce, to expanding our cooperation across the entire board. Second, we're deepening our maritime and security ties. This is something I know you've discussed with Vice President Harris during her travel to the Indo-Pacific. And I want to be clear, the United States, the United States defense commitments to Japan and to the Philippines are ironclad. They're ironclad. As I've said before, any attack on Philippine aircraft, vessels, or armed forces in the South China Sea would invoke our mutual defense treaty. Finally, I'm proud to announce we're launching an economic corridor in the Philippines as part of the G7's Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment. This is the first corridor in the Indo-Pacific. It means more jobs for people across the entire region. It means more investment in sectors critical to our future, clean energy, ports, railroads, agriculture, and much more. I'm looking forward to discussing all this with all of you. But first, Mr. President, I'm going to hand it over to you, President Marcos. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, and uh, once again, uh, allow me to uh, thank you for hosting us, uh, uh, Prime Minister Kishida and myself, uh, in the White House for this uh, very important agreement, which uh, we are going to formalize today. We meet today as friends and partners bound by a shared vision and pursuit of a peaceful, stable, and prosperous Indo-Pacific. It is a partnership born not out of convenience nor of expediency, but as a natural progression of a deepening relation and robust cooperation amongst our three countries. Linked by a profound respect for democracy, good governance, and the rule of law. Today's historic summit is a culmination of several preparatory engagements between our foreign ministries, our national security advisors, and our vice ministers, as well as the conduct of trilateral maritime exercises and joint development cooperation. But this meeting can be just a beginning. Facing the complex challenges of our time requires concert concerted efforts on everyone's part a dedication to a common purpose and an unwavering commitment to the rules-based international order. This is a meeting that looks ahead. As we deepen our ties and enhance our coordination, we seek to identify ways of growing our economies and making them more resilient, climate-proofing our, our cities and our societies, sustaining our development progress, and forging a peaceful world, world for the next generation. Today's summit is an opportunity to define the future that we want and how we intend to achieve it together. Thank you, and I wish us all a successful meeting.